As we continue to discuss the water situation in Midland, you might be in need of just a timeline of everything. Tyler Dubnik joining us now with more on this. And Tyler, what can people in Midland expect on all this? Well, Alex, the city of Midland has made a lot of progress since all of this really became not just a citywide but countywide issue yesterday afternoon. Moving forward, the city is looking to have the boil water notice lifted as early as tomorrow morning. Uh, we are on the way to recovery. The water issues that have faced the tall city really stemmed from two sources. First, a human error in the water treatment plant where someone failed to recognize the low water levels in the reservoir. And second, a water line break off Highway 158. As of earlier this evening, the water line repair is nearing completion and the water in the treatment plant is back to normal standards. Right now, the city is waiting for the TCEQ to approve the testing samples it sent out earlier today. And once that occurs, the boil water notice is expected to be lifted. As they wait, flushing of the affected water main has taken place, and the Midland Fire Department has flushed fire hydrants around the Beale Park area in southwest Midland. So if you see water on the roadways, do not be alarmed, as this is another step in restoring water service to residents. Hydrant flushing helps ensure water quality where water pressure has been lost. If the boil water notice is lifted Saturday morning, there are some steps you should take, which starts with flushing your water system as well. Yes, RO systems, um, they need to be flushed 15 to 20 minutes, meaning once the boil water notice is rescinded, just turn that on, let that water roll through there. It really just cleans up the filters that the RO uses. You should also clean automatic ice makers by making and discarding at least three batches of ice, as well as run water softeners through a regeneration cycle. Now it appears Millen had a productive day fixing both issues that led to all of this. The city has announced it will be holding a press conference tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. So be sure to stick with News West 9 as we continue to provide you with the latest on the story into tomorrow. Alex.